All right, time to go. Time to go. Stop, stop right there. Hello, children. Welcome to Turkey Tales. Each week, we're going to tune in to a different episode into the Gobbles family, and we're going to see how they respond in different scenarios and see if they're going to do what God wants them to do and see if they're going to be thankful for all that God has given to them. So this episode, we're going to call it the Complainy Bunch. And let's look at the Gobbles and see, are they complaining a little too bit much? <laughs> You will never believe the day that I have had. Get a puppy, they say. So I get this puppy. She goes into our room. She takes my sh favorite shorts and tears a gaping hole inside of it. Now my shorts are ruined. Then she goes outside and she runs off the leash. And I'm having to chase her because she's chasing a donkey. Have you ever had to chase a puppy and a donkey at the same time? It was horrible. And then what is this bread made out of? Like gluten-free bread? Is it, It's terrible. Um, hmm, funny you're complaining about your favorite shorts that you have at least 10 pairs of. They now, were my favorite. My grandmother made them. I love them. Is your grandmother's name Amazon? Rhymes like it. Huh, okay. You want to talk about a rough day? Let's talk about my day. I had to get the kids up and dressed and ready for school. I had to get your breakfast. Mm -hmm. I had to get Uncle Ben. God knows what Ugh. I had to do for Uncle Ben. Then I had to get them to school. I had to mm -hmm. go to school, take care of 22 fourth graders on virtual. Mm -hmm. What? I can't even go there. Then come home. Wait, get the kids, do homework, clean the house, cook dinner. And now you're going to sit here and complain about the dinner that I just cooked for you? Unbelievable. Tastes like plastic. Is that what you guys really complain about now in days? Mm -hmm. You know what we used to complain about? Retirement. Oh. It's so boring. All I do is hear hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. It's uh, annoying. Are you kidding well, he's me? He's complaining right about now? retirement. On a couch I got older grass. Listen, I'm the not the one who told you. To... Got... Look at everything we have. We have a house. We have food. We have clothes. Most importantly, we have each other. We should be thankful. Oh, he's wow. right. You know what? We should wow. be thankful for the house that God has given to us. We should be thankful for the family and the job that I love. And I guess I'm thankful for my dentures. Because you know what? Now I could eat applesauce. Great advice from Great Uncle Ben. Hello, kids. I hope that you've learned today's lesson to give God thanks for all his blessings. So make sure today go home and thank God for everything that he has given you because he's given you all that you need and not all that you want. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. All right, kids, we saw with the Gobble family just now that they were complaining a lot at the beginning, right? Everybody had something negative to say. This wasn't going right, and I don't have this, and this isn't, you know, what I have in my life, what I really want, and they were complaining. But then we had Brantley step up and say, hey, guys, stop all the complaining. There is so much to be thankful for. You have clothes, you have food, you have a house. And you see, sometimes, kids, we complain when we don't have everything that we want. And sometimes we forget that God has given us everything that we need because God has promised us in his word to provide for all of our needs. He does provide everything that we need for life. And I want to go back to Genesis chapter 1, verse 29, and it says this, And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed and its fruit, and you shall have them for food. One of the most basic things that God said that he provides for all of his people is food. And so this week and this month, I want you guys to remember that you have so much to be thankful for and that every time that you sit down at a table and you eat, that should be a reminder to you that God has promised to give us food. God has promised to give us everything that we need and food should be a great reminder to you that God is providing for your needs. And no matter what happens in life, you might sit back and say, but Brad, I really want a TV. I really want to have the newest Xbox. I really want this new toy that's gonna be out for Christmas. And here's, God doesn't promise that we're gonna have all of those things. God has promised to give us everything that we need. 
and we should be thankful for those things. And food is such a simple reminder that every time we go to eat, let that remind you to say, you know what, God? Thank you for giving me friends. Thank you for giving me a home to live in. God, thank you for clothes that I get to wear every single day. God, thank you for all the things that I have around my house, the toys that I do have, the things that I have, the family that I have. God, thank you for those. And so for each of us, let's use food as a reminder that God is meeting our needs and let's be thankful and let's give God thanks for all of his blessings. Can you say that with me? Give God thanks for all his blessings. Would you pray with me? Father in heaven, we thank you that you are a God who provides for all of our needs. Father, we know that you have never promised to give us all of our wants, but Father, we always have everything that we need. So Father, I pray that we focus on what we do have and stop focusing on what we don't have. And we give you all the thanks. It's in your name we pray. Amen.